I worked for the Grand River Conservation Authority for 37 years. Um, I had a wide, wide range of jobs during that 37 years at the Conservation Authority. I started out in the uh, flood forecasting and warning program, spent a quite a bit of time on that. I worked on the regulations. I was doing the urban planning side of it for a little while. I had several different jobs at the Conservation Authority over time. I, I worked in the flood forecasting and warning program, the floodplain mapping program, the uh, regulations, the municipal planning program, the watershed planning program. So I had a lot of different types of things that I worked on at one time or another. And so it was always very exciting and challenging for me. I really liked working with people. And of course, water management or watershed management isn't about managing water, it's about working with people. Early in my career, I probably liked the technical work. I was a computer programmer. I really liked doing analysis and you know that sort of thing. But I think as time went on, it became really obvious that if you wanted to make change, that it was working with people that were was going to get you there. When I started, things were were quite a bit different. There weren't computers at that time. We did calculations by hand. I can actually do a backwater calculation by hand. <laughs> Things were much more command and control in the 70s. And now the whole workplace environment and the young people that are coming up now are, um, are much more, um, will embrace change, um, look for better ways to do things, not afraid to put their ideas forward. I think that's a big thing. The Grand River Water Management Plan, it was an update of the 1982 plan. It was a collaborative plan. And so it involved the various players in water management getting together and deciding what could be done. Building the relationships to allow that to happen and then getting everybody together and agreeing on on what to do was a very big accomplishment for me.